Today's big question, why do Americans spell the word grey with an A instead of an E like the British do? Well firstly, the surprising truth of the matter is that the British once spelled it the so-called American way as well. You see, back when everybody still identified as an oil painting, both spellings of grey were used interchangeably in Britain and the United States. In the US, however, this all began to change from 1828 onward. Hardly a coincidence, because that was the year that renowned lexicographer Noah Webster published his first dictionary of American. In English. In it, he decided to go with the more intuitive spelling of the word grey, not to mention the word colour. Thereafter, Americans increasingly ditched the E for an A, while the British did the exact opposite. And I can already smell the distinct sound of Uncle Toby typing, but Americans do spell it with an E in greyhound. Nice try, Tobes, but the surprising thing about the word greyhound is that its origin is in no way connected to the colour, which makes sense because most greyhounds aren't actually grey. 